Welcome to this look at Fact Sheet Friday number four, uh, released today on the 17th of September. Four new sheets, 13 to 16. We should have eight pieces of machinery we're going to be having a look at. Come along with me, Mr. Sealy P. So first up then we've got the top liner 4090HTS, the Deutzfahr. I'm really pleased actually to be getting some more Deutzfahr gear. I know it's an older harvester, but we didn't get a huge amount straight off the bat from Giants and FS19. So it's nice to see it. Uh, 129,500 uh, for the base model, 310 horsepower, variable transmission, 555 litre tank, uh, eight, uh, sorry, 555 litre fuel tank, 8,500 litre tank. So it puts that small to medium size harvester. Nice looking harvester by the, by the image that's there. That older style, more kind of boxy, not as streamlined, uh, but looking very nice. And on the front of that, the Deutzfahr top line of 4090 header, uh, 30,000 to buy, 6 metres, and we'll run at 6 miles per hour. Next then, we've got the Zator Proxima HS tractor. 49,500, 76 to 117 horsepower, so it kind of puts it in the medium ish size. I suppose technically it's still fairly small. Manual and power shift gearbox, it'll run at 40 kilometers an hour, 24 miles an hour. Uh, there's a weight thing on there, I need to dig a little bit deeper into that because it was alluded to on the, the last podcast. And the new podcast is available today, podcast 11, talking about crossplay. If you weren't aware of that, crossplay is coming to FS22. Everyone can play with each other, regardless of your platform. Um, but it was mentioned something about weight and weight limits, uh, and that's going to be fairly important. But I don't know much more information about that. But anyway, that's why a lot of these fact sheets have got weights for all the different things. On the back of that, the Chrono Swadro TS970 Windrower. 41,000, requires 90 horsepower to run it, 3.3 tonnes, 9.7 meters wide and that will run at nine miles per hour now the next one that i've just done these in the order they released on the uh on the discord server when they popped up we've got the zator major cl so this is one down from the one we just looked at this is 42,500, 75 horsepower so this is definitely the i would i would like to say the smallest of the zator tractors we're going to get i don't think there's going to be a smaller horse a lower horsepower than that uh, manual gearbox runs at 19 miles per hour, miles per hour at 3.6 tons. Nice looking tractor. All of these models are. I mean, you know, the pictures are designed to get you all sort of very excited. On the back of that, we've got the Master Ferguson 1840 baler. We've had a few different modded versions of these uh, bales on FS9 uh, balers on FS19. 22,000 to buy. Only requires 50 horsepower to pull. 1.5 tons it does 120 centimeter bales uh, and it'll run at seven miles an hour when it is bailing uh, then we come on to the last of the fact sheets for today which is the, the zator forterra hsx now whether this is going to be the largest zator tractor we get but it's definitely the larger of the three today this is 117 to 136 horsepower um diesel and def 40 kilometers an hour, 24 miles an hour, 5.4 tons. I do like these the new these newer versions. They've got the little bit more angular, sort of sharper, almost like a little shark's nose on the end of it. Um, nice looking tractors. And on the back of that, new to uh, FS is the Rudolph brand trailer brand. And on the back of that, so they've got the Rudolph TDK 301RA trailer, 32,000 to buy. This is 18.5 to 24.5 metres cubed, so that's 18,500 to 24,500 litres, uh, 5.4 tonnes, and takes pretty much everything according to the pictures at the bottom. Now, I'll be honest, of the three, the three, the four Fact Sheet Fridays we've had so far, I know this is going to sound awful, I'm very excited about the game, I, I do like the Deutzfahr Harvester, I'm a little bit underwhelmed, um... I think because they put three four t uh, Zetors out all together, um, there's nothing that's kind of blown my mind. You know, last week there was the BGA with extra stuff, and there was um, chopped sugar beet, and there was you know there was some really cool stuff that came out. Um, 
Do they, they just feel a little bit ordinary to me? That's just, I'm just saying. <laughs> that's, that's how I feel. Um, so there we go. That's your four fact sheets for today. Don't forget, you can still pre-order the game right up until November the 22nd. If you do pre-order, you get the um, Class Saddle Track Pack um, on some platforms. The Year 1 Season Pass is also available. As far as I'm aware, I have done a little bit of digging on this as well. Um, the Season Pass for PlayStation won't release until the day the game releases, November the 22nd. Something to do with Sony as far as i'm aware so if you've been looking on console as far as i'm aware that will not be appearing until the date of release so there'll be no sort of cheaper pre-order for that unfortunately i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment be nice and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do as always thanks for watching